What's up my people? Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Click the top bell icon after you subscribe to get notified when there's anything new on the channel. So as usual my people, I have some things I'm gonna share with you guys but before me get into it, please leave a thumbs up on this video. So make we get into the first thing my people. Kingston Western Police seeking 5 people. The Kingston Western Police have listed 2 men as wanted and 3 others as person of interest. The wanted men are Brian otherwise called Price Wright and Desiree Walker otherwise called Shamar. The person of interest are Odin Falna, Kirk Roberts otherwise called Pepe and Frederick Mattis. The police say they should report to the Denham Town Criminal Investigation Branch by 6 p.m. on Saturday. Detectives have reportedly identified these persons as individuals who may be able to assist them with ongoing investigation within the division. Anyone with information that can assist in locating them is asked to contact the Denham Town CIB at 876-948-6443, Crime Stop at 311, the JCF tip line at 811 are the nearest police station. So we are going to move go over in a Clarendon, my people. So the police, them, they depend on an operation, them say. And them see a man a pass by one bike. And right away, pull him over. See? Them say him name Alfonso Campbell. He's a 57-year-old. See? So by them pull him over, you know, my people. Them see say boy, him waist, bulge up. So when them check, is a... 38 them find pan him. So right away, them just wall on pan him and bring him, go lock him up. You see me? Them say two live rounds did in it. Right? So we are going to move on, people, to an update pan Beachy Stout case. Right? Because I know if I see the update, then I go give it to you. You see it? Beachy Stout matter to see trial in trial. So meanwhile, the trial are going on, my people. And next trial I go keep because they want to put something as evidence in the case and them a fight it not to be put as evidence in the case, right? A legal showdown is looming in the MURDER trial of businessman Everton Beachy Stout McDonald over the admissibility of crucial phone record recordings allegedly made between him and the prosecution. Star witness Denvalin Bobla Minot. The recordings are alleged to include conversation where the two men discussed the K I L L I N G of Beachy Stout's wife, Tonya Hamilton McDonald. The defense is seeking to prevent the recording from being admitted into evidence and heard by the jury. So, may I have a little clip here, people? Listen to what I go on. When the trial resumes on Monday morning at 10, the defense team will ask the court to hold a separate trial to determine whether to admit several pieces of recordings extracted from the phone of Denville in Bobla Minot. Such an inquiry is formally known as a voidir. Bobla is the man who alleges that Beachy Stout offered him $3 million to stab Tonya Hamilton MacDonald to death and burn her body. He has since testified that he outsourced the crime to another man, Oscar Barnes. Barnes is also facing a murder charge. When he was arrested, Bobler reportedly handed over a mobile phone to detectives at the major investigation division containing several voice recordings. He testified the recordings were inadvertently made after the phone recorded the conversations without his initial knowledge. In those conversations, he says he and Beachy Stout would frequently discuss Tonya's murder. However, there are questions about the recordings after Bubbler testified to changing the names of the files in his phone. The recordings form a critical part of the prosecution's case against the popular businessman. They're arguing the jury should be allowed to hear the conversations. The defense team is requesting that before any such decision is made, the presiding judge, Chester Stamp, must first determine whether a trial in a trial is necessary to determine the admissibility of the recordings. The defense has characterized Bubbler as a serial liar, scammer, and con man. They're expected to strenuously oppose the inclusion of any recordings made by him of their client. 
the prosecution has also promised a strong reply. All eyes will be on presiding Judge Chester Stamp come Monday morning. Tonya McDonald's partially burnt body was found with her throat slashed. I don't know the rest. You see me? So, right now, they want to put that in the evidence, but that would be a crucial part in a sinking beachy stout. So, beachy stout, lie at them, you know, I try them best if you don't get it put into evidence. They want to get it thrown out. You see me? Because them say it's a very crucial part. You know what I mean? So, I want to know, tell me what you think in the comment section and also like the video and subscribe, people. So, we are going to move on. Cops seek motive in Spanish town man's M U R D E R. Police are still trying to determine a motive for Friday's K I L L I N G of a man at Cecil Gardens in Marchman, Spanish town, St. Catherine. The deceased has been identified as 35 year old. Emmins, otherwise called Ratty, a construction worker of Cecile Gardens, address. It was reported that around 5.30 a.m., residents heard loud explosions and later stumbled upon the body of the now deceased, suffering from what appeared to be G-U-N-S-H-O-T wounds. Residents summoned the police who saw Emmins lying on his back with G-U-N-S-H-O-T wounds to the head and upper body. The body was clad in a green t-shirt, blue jeans pants, and a brown clocks. The scene was processed and the body taken to the Spanish Town Hospital where it was pronounced. Police said they have so far came up empty-handed in their initial investigations into the KILLING but are continuing their probe with the aim of making a breakthrough soon. So guys... Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel and also give this video a thumbs up. Cop shoots man outside nightclub in Trelawney. A man was SHOT and him dropped out by a policeman during a confrontation outside a nightclub in Falmouth, Trelawney, Saturday morning. The man identified as 25-year-old Andrew Hall from Scarlet Hall in Trelawney was reportedly SHOT after attacking the cop who is said to be a constable from the Stuart Town Police Station. Reports indicate that around 5.10 a.m. the two men were among patrons outside the nightclub when an altercation developed between Hall and another man. The constable intervened and tried to separate both men when Al reportedly began punching him in his face repeatedly. It was further reported that the policeman pulled his private firearm and fired three SHOTS hitting Al in the right side of his body. Al, police said, was assisted to the Falmouth Hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. The Independent Commissioner of Investigations Indicom has commenced a probe into the incident. My initial thought upon this when I read it, people, the policeman is jumpy and boomy. You see me, I say, you have to have a cool head as a police officer. The man never have no form of weapon We could have dash you away and you draw a weapon upon a man with only him two fists them and can up the man. And I like say, no threat dead. The man a thump up you in your face and you go part the war. Take your thump up and move on. Even if you dry your machine for easy math. Me sure say, once him see that come out of your waist, him freeze. You see me I say? So right now, you figure out prison. Yeah man, big woman thing. Because what you do, could have be avoided. You go part the fight, yes. You see, sometimes people, enough of them police, especially when them see crowd, them boomy, jumpy, and show off. Me there in a club already, you know. And three persons did it. Two youth and a female. See, me there in there enjoy myself. Right? So, one seat did it, one chair did it. We did it stand up good look a while, you know. Because I write a bar this, you know. 
Zin, and me sit down in a chair. So this you touch me upon my shoulder, and I say, yo, get up out of this. So me I say, where that for? Nobody never sit down in a head. Get up out of it, man. And I say, yeah, me soon get up. The man say, get up now. You know me be boy, me a police, me lock you up, make you sleep at jail tonight, you know. Me I say, yo, you don't know me neither. You don't know me. You see me? And he kind of join and him shell a little bit. You see me, I say, right there, so I diss him and diss me because him see the girl, you know. Nobody never did a sit down in a chair, you know. But as me take a sit down in a chair, a problem, a member, of the people them who own the club cheering and a female, you know. You see me, I say? So, enough of them people, them boomy and jumpy, especially when them have a machine, them one show say, them have a machine, him never did have to dash with the youth. Him never did have to do it. You see me, I say? I show off him, show off and jumpy. So, me glad in the come a probe and hope the people them were there, tell what go on, because if a man thump up you in your face, I am and that him use pan, him never use no weapon. Where you draw a machine for? And even can the man. Three can you give man. Not even one, three times you can him. And people, you see enough of the time. Me, me ear still say better you dash away a man more than can him and injure him. You see me? That of a police, a man we have license machine. Them not train police for injure people. You see me, I say? Them train them for dash away. Because people are say, if you dash him away, you know what I mean? Him can't come fight in a court. You see me? So, you shouldn't read so far, people. Big man thing. So, leave your comments in the comment section and let me know what you think. So, we are going to move on, my people. Six year old among 3K ILL in drive by shooting in St. Angela's evening. January RIP. A six year old girl is among three people K I L L in a drive by Carning incident along Delano Avenue in St. Angela's evening. The child has been identified as Ariana Salomon of Howard Avenue, Kingston 11. The other deceased, a 42 year old Amari Salomon, also of Howard Avenue, and 34 year old Michael. Smith, a fourth person, was SHOT and wounded in the incident. Reports are that some sometime after 9 p.m., a group of people was standing along the roadway when a car approached. An armed occupant of the vehicle reportedly fired several SHOTs at the group. When the carning subsided, four people were found with gunshot wounds. They were taken to hospital where Smith Solomon and the child were pronounced while the other person was admitted for treatment. John was star. I need a drive by just the other day one go on with them can up seven person and two drop out. Now this why people certain places in a Kingston still you know. Me not think me could have lived this at all. Because here and here and a beef a man just drive in and can up anybody with them see. You know what I mean? So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. And the little girl, she got up on the thumbnail. I put her up on the thumbnail. See? So bless up on yourself and thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and also subscribe.